Hi, I'm Marissa, and I'm going to show you how to get started with Open Metadata. First, let's start Docker. Once it's starting, you can actually go and open the dashboard. The first thing you will want to do is check for Docker settings to make sure that you have enough memory and swap resources to run Open Metadata smoothly. For memory, we advise that you have Docker set to at least 5 gigabytes, and for swap, at least 2 gigabytes. OK, now we know these are fine. I will move our dashboard to the side and open our terminal. First, let's check which directory we are in with pwd. And then we can use ls to see which subdirectories are there. As you can see, I'm starting with a clean install of open metadata. So let's clear our terminal and start by creating a directory for open metadata. You can see with this command, I have created the directory and cd'd into it. I can now download the latest version of open metadata with the curl command. I'm also running the docker compose up dash d to create and start the open metadata docker containers. Now we can go back to the docker dashboard and check the containers we have up and running. Open metadata runs four containers, but the important ones to get started are the open metadata server and the open metadata ingestion. The open metadata server is hosted on your local host on 8585 and shows you the UI for open metadata. You can access it right from your Docker dashboard by clicking the open in browser icon at the right. Now this is the first time we are running open metadata. So don't worry if you get an empty page like this one, it takes a moment to get everything up and running. So just refresh your page and you will be good to go. And just like that, you have downloaded open metadata and have it running locally. The next thing you want to do is to actually pull in some data from its source. So let's first check out our open metadata ingestion running on localhost 8080 from Docker. This is what's running Airflow for you. Again, this is the first time we are running it. So sometimes it takes a refresh of your browser to bring up the Airflow UI. Notice that we have some sample data that you can ingest. So let's go ahead and unpause each of these DAGs. I will refresh this page and you can see that each one is now running. So if we pop back to our open metadata host and refresh the page, all of the default sample data and tables are there to take a look at. Okay, great. But now let's learn how to do a connection to one of your own data sources. For this video, I'm going to connect to Snowflake. First, on the top right hand menu, go to settings and click on services. On this page, you will see a button on the top right that says add a new service. This brings you to a grid of possible database services that you can connect to. And I will choose Snowflake and then hit next. Here, we want to choose a service name that will help you identify and distinguish this service from others. And you can also add a description here if you want it as well. Now on this page, you will need to add the specific details of your Snowflake service to connect to your account and tables. Depending on how your account is set up, you may only require a username and account key. But here I'm going to add in our password and host port as well. Generally, before you create a connection, you will want to test it to make sure it's working. You can do this with the test connection button. This will run a quick test and it will return a green check mark if it was successful. Then go ahead and hit save. And we've just created our first service connection. Now let's say we want to add an ingestion to our service that will check for updates and pull in new data. We have this handy button right here to add ingestion. Here, we can add schema or table filter patterns to configure our ingestion to include or exclude a variety of handy metadata aspects by just adjusting the toggles for each option. For this demo, I'm going to leave these to their defaults and hit next to start scheduling the interval at which we want this to run. 
The default is to run every hour, but you can change this to every day or even every week. You can then choose the minute past the hour. The default for the service is to repeat every hour at five minutes past. You then have the option to set the suggestion to start at some date in the future. And the default is for this to service to start today. And you can also choose to end the ingestion on a particular date with the end date option. Now I will click on deploy and start the service ingestion. Fantastic. We can now go and view the service we just created. And here we have any databases you might have and any ingestions we created. On the ingestion page, we see the ingestion that we just made and we see it's currently running. So now we can go check that out in our Airflow instance. Now this page just needs a refresh and we can see our new ingestion. If we click on it, we can see more details. And let's say if you wanted to access the logs, you can click on the green square and an information pop-up comes up. In the middle of the top of the buttons, we can see the log option. And ta-da! There's all the log information for us. That's it. Here we have started from scratch, downloading and running open metadata for the first time, creating our database connection to Snowflake and created an ingestion that automatically checks Snowflake for updates. And that's how you can open up your data with open metadata. See you later.